Hello everyone, it's Clinton and I'm back with more Gwent in The Witcher 3. Yeah, I'm gonna play some more Gwent against a blacksmith, or at least I think it's a blacksmith. He was sure dressed like one uh, with his smock, but he had no uh, forge nearby. But I just assume he's a blacksmith and thus an easy mark for a win. Um, I promised last video that I would play a different deck aside from my Northern Realms deck, but I just haven't gotten the cards to make a new deck, uh, to be quite frank with you. So I'm using Northern Realms again, and look at this amazing hand. Uh, this is the most synergy, I guess, I've had in an opening hand ever. Uh, pretty much got my, um, doubles. Oh, jeez, well, what's the uh, thing with the, um... Blue Stripes Commandos and the, uh, those guys right there, those Barrel Chester guys, uh, Sinfred, Reavers, Dragon something. Anyway, those guys will help each other out when I put them in play, uh, and yeah, it's a really strong opening hand, and I'm facing off against a monster deck. Uh, Tight Bond, that's the ability I was talking about, Tight Bond. Uh, when I get uh, two of the same cards out with Type Bond, they will increase each other's uh, attack power. I, I believe they double it, so that's great. I'm playing against a monster's deck right now. I've heard really uh, good things about the monster cards and that they're difficult to play against. Um, they have the muster ability. So you put down a card and then you can just take a card from your hand that's of a similar type and play that as well. So uh, they really get the advantage in terms of the attack strength. Um, so, uh, but right now I'm still in the lead by one point, and I'm pretty much relying on my nice uh, my three pairs of doubles there, all you know with tight bond or the um, other ability that increases everything in the rows attack by one. I keep saying attack. I don't know what the proper term is. It could be attack. It could be strength. Uh, so right now he's played an early weather effect, which actually shuts down my uh, ranged row uh, quite nicely. But I'm not too worried. I'm thinking right now that I'm going to play another one of these guys and get the tight bond going. Why would I do that? Well, you know, I do have my ace in the sleeve, which is uh, Lord Full Test. I can cancel out any and all weather effects once per match, and I plan to do that very soon in this round. The trick is just timing it right so I don't um, overplay too many cards into that row. And I'm also counting on my opponent not having a lot of other weather cards in their hand. I'm hoping like this is it, or they maybe have one more weather card that they have in their hand. So I'm just, you know, this hand I have basically plays itself to be honest. Um, I put down one of my blue stripes commandos. I'm going to probably put the other one out on my next turn. The stuff he's playing is just pretty drab. He's not really getting any other combos going right now. And he's already hampered himself with his own uh, fog um, effect, right? Right there in the center center row. So there we go. Got the blue strike commando and now they have the tight bond and they're completely unpenalized as of yet. So I've got a pretty, you know, like a a slight lead, nothing too too sizable. Um, just seven points. That could just uh, change any moment. And right about now, I'm thinking, okay, it's time to clear the fog and uh, let my ranged row uh, go unfettered and get the full, you know, points value out of that row. I'm kind of thinking though, like I'm already slightly in the lead. Do I really want to waste Lord Foltis's ability? to clear away the weather. So this is why I'm kind of like mulling over things a bit longer. I'm kind of thinking, well, what does my opponent have in his hand? Does he have like way more weather effects? Is, does he have a card he's going to slam out and he's going to pull ahead in points all of a sudden? Like some big muster card or something? Hmm. 
these are the things you ponder when you're playing Gwent. And I have to admit, sometimes I do overthink my plays. I'm just playing against CPU, you know, it's not like, like I'm playing against a, a real live opponent. So, see, um, this guy's ability, he gets to actually, uh, it's like the opposite of Lord Foltis' ability. He gets to pull a weather effect from the deck and just play it outright. Doesn't even have to be in, in the guy's hand. So that's also uh, an added bit of danger of using my um, ability too quickly, my leader ability there. But you know what? I'm going to do it. I, I really want to uh, get to uh, a good early start and win the first round. So this is one way I can ensure I get a really big uh, lead in points. And whoa, look at that. 41 against 15. My opponent decides to pass. He knows the game is up or the round is up. And then there's no need for me to play any more cards. I've easily won that round. So his... Uh, monster ability triggers he gets an extra card and so do I on to round two and I'm feeling really confident I really want to close this guy out and win the second round as well we each are even uh, in cards with cards in hand so I just start off with a pretty vanilla play just the um, sorcerers there with the five strength in the ranged row and he also plays a fairly uh, good you know, like mid-range strength card he's in, he's in the lead but uh, so far nothing crazy has come out I put up my heavy artillery and he plays his second weather effect and that shuts down uh, my artillery there which has me a little bit worried but I'm still not that far behind in points Plus, I still have the Medic, and the Medic lets me bring back something I've already played. Uh, bring back a card from the discard pile, which is just amazing. I wish I had one more Medic in my deck right now, but I haven't been able to find one. So, we go ahead and play a Medic now. I just want to see what cards I can scrounge out from the discard. Um, yeah, obviously going to choose something with a 5 power, and there's no need... To get a tight bond going, so I just choose Kira. Whatever, I play Kira. Put her in the uh, middle row. Do do do. You, pardon me. I, I do use the uh, zoom in feature uh, from the PlayStation just to zoom in onto the text every so often, since my eyesight is so poor. It's I find it really hard to read the text on my TV. So uh, hopefully it helps you out when you're watching this video as well. You can kind of get a closer look at some of the uh, card descriptions. But I do do it very quickly sometimes. It's a little jarring, I know. So I apologize for that when I zoom in really quickly like that. Without any warning or anything. There's no fancy transition effects either. So, you know, again, uh, there's not much to do for me except to just play the cards as I have them. Um, I'm just hoping that he doesn't have any sort of hard counter to what I have and so far he does not. He's just kind of going along the same strategy. He actually had to play a card into a row that's affected by the heavy rain and uh, he's not ahead in points right now and I basically can just finish him off with my um, uh, so what is that? commander's horn and I pass and he's got no cards on hand there's no way he's catching up to me and he does and I win this round so that's two rounds for me and pretty decisive wins on both rounds so like I said I had a really lucky hand there and I've previously been uh, beat down by so look at this guy he looks like a blacksmith sort of but he's missing his forge and tools he's just a measly shopkeeper anyway um, I went into my inventory to see what new card I want. I got a little confused with the <laughs> card interface for a second here. Uh, it turned out if, I think it was a Scoitel card. That was just, eh, nothing too special. It's not not a unique card or anything. But that's all I want to show you. Uh, Northern Realms versus Monsters. 
and I came out victorious fortunately and as soon as I find the card I actually won from the shopkeeper I will call it quits here there it is there it is a scout card all right thanks so much for watching I'll be back soon see you all next time